If you guys want the fastest way to improve your aim, get some control freaks for cheap. Use code GOBLIN for 10% off and improve your aim today. Link in the description. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. Now today a new update came out and this was patch update 1.10 for Call of Duty World War II. Of course it's been a while since we had 1.09 so everyone was looking forward to this update and they were sort of teasing it last week, uh, last Friday with their community blog saying look out for a big update next week and this is 1.10 this came out this morning but i was waiting all day to get the official patch notes from sledgehammer games and when they came out they were a bit underwhelming but there is some cool stuff to talk about in this update so if you guys could drop a like on this video let's go ahead and go for 78 likes that would be awesome if you could hit that of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as well smash that like button i appreciate all the support this is patch update 1.10 so the first thing to cover with this update is that there are new dlc weapons and those dlc weapons are two new pistols in the game right now there's the enfield number two and the reich revolver i guess i hope i'm saying that right basically two new revolver pistols that look almost identical not sure how they play because i have not unlocked them yet because basically the way that you can get these pistols is through collections and i was about to buy them this morning and i looked at the price and they're about twenty thousand armory credits each so I saw a guy on Twitter who bought both of them, and I think it cost him like 45,000 armory credits. So, I don't know what the deal is with Sledgehammer Games and pistols. Now, that's three new pistols within this one of Resistance event. So, I don't know why they have like a hard-on for pistols or something like that. Um, I guess it's to go along with their Resistance division. Um, but, uh, these pistols cost a lot and are extremely, extremely overpriced. For the fact that the Orso only cost like, what was it, around 10,000? Now, these these are costing around 20,000 doesn't really make sense in my opinion and unless you're someone that is a pistol only player or maybe a sniper that loves pistols I would recommend probably not spending 20,000 armory credits on these pistols and that's why I didn't do it myself it just seems so overpriced a pistol probably for armory credits should be between five to nine thousand I think that would be reasonable but there are new pistols in the game maybe it, it'll come up through the uh through major Howard with contracts to get these things unlocked for free not really sure so far but that's basically what you can unlock you can also now get the uh, variant of the nine millimeter SAP through collections which you had to prestige the resistance division before but once again, it costs a lot. It's easier to prestige the resistance division than to spend whatever, how many cre uh, armory credits to get these. So two new weapons in the game, both revolvers, which is sort of underwhelming unless you're someone that's really, really obsessed with pistols. Me personally, I'm more obsessed with assault rifles and SMGs. Next thing is that there is a new resistance triple play bribe available for purchase. Uh, sort of like how Black Ops 3 did the triple play. However, this one is not as good as Black Ops 3's. It costs... 3,000 COD points, so around $30, and you get 10 resistant supply drops, two bribes that contain a guaranteed duplicate protected item, plus two other items. The bribes in this bundle guarantee one epic item and one epic resistance uniform, and that is because, uh, I forgot to mention, along with the new pistols, there are a couple new epic uniforms for the resistance event. This also seems overpriced, resistance triple play. Back when you got triple plays in um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, you were guaranteed weapons. Now you're guaranteed one epic item, which we all know how that goes. You're excited, you open it, and epic calling card or epic you know whatever epic emblem so um I, I don't think i'm gonna be doing that triple play either seems a bit overpriced on that side as well another thing people were looking forward to with this 1.10 update was paint jobs because of course we had emblems and then they said paint jobs were coming soon and disappointment they are still coming soon not sure what's taking so long they didn't really update on that but paint jobs are still coming soon and have not come out yet next thing which is kind of pretty this, this one i think is pretty cool is when you're using in the resistance division you now have an option when you when you're playing in game to disable or enable the scrambler so you have an option up on the screen now where you can just hit uh i think it's left on the d-pad so you can either turn on your scrambler or turn off your scrambler depending on your game mode and situation which i think is good because scrambler is good in certain situations maybe in a hard point scramble that thing up while you're in the hard point so people can't see what's going on but in other situations where search and destroy you probably don't want to give away your location you want to be able to disable that scrambler and that is a pretty cool uh thing they've added now for the resistance division i'm still not the biggest fan of the resistance division i think it's sort of a unique niche division but for people that love that with these new pistols 
that definitely is a good change that they put out for that so people should be excited about having that in now into call of duty world war 2 next thing we got to talk about is resistance gun game is live with double xp as part of the week four of the resistance event there's a couple featured game modes here of course this will be the most popular one people have been wanting gun game back for a while so there you have resistance gun game double xp pretty pretty cool stuff right there as well there is a new mg15 variant apparently a gorilla mg15 now they haven't reported on any other new variants for any other guns so it's kind of weird that there's just one new mg15 these updates are kind of awkward and sloppy so uh, apparently there is one new lmg variant but nothing really else for any for you know any other uh, um, any other guns that were updated and different stuff like that. And the next thing with this update, which is pretty cool, is there's just a bunch of bug fixes. They fixed various audio issues. They fixed various connectivity issues. So the, the you know connecting with people, um, playing with friends and stuff like that, and um, different issues with uh, ranked play, zombies, all that sort of stuff. But I went through the list of all the issues and patches, and the one that really um, stood out to me was this one under weapons and score streaks adjusted paratroopers so they no longer target enemy aerial score streaks and no longer select shovels or serrated basic training so basically this is they're, they're titling it sort of as a fix but it is a buff to paratroopers because usually one of your paratroopers every time would run around with either a shovel or a pistol or something like that now it looks like you're gonna get a full team of paratroopers ready to fight they're not going to be looking up at aerial score streaks trying to shoot down uavs they're going to be going in on the battlefield so this is sort of a buff to paratroopers which um if you are someone that uses paratroopers a lot you know mainly people that play a uh, hard point maybe even tdm ctf for the people that use paratroopers and domination they're a little bit too hard to get because domination is still 50 points per kill which i'll talk about in a second but definitely that's something right there um paratroopers got a mini mini buff the rest of this stuff is just bug fixes so this is sort of a underwhelming update this could have sort of been a hot fix instead of a big 1.10 patch update but it was the thing is this was a large update it was around two gigabytes so maybe it was just to add those pistols but i would assume they already had the pistols in the game and just put them live so maybe with this update because it was so big and because not many things were were changed you know of course just the dlc weapons maybe more th stuff was added that's going to be put public at a later date that's what i would assume probably i i would guess based on the fact that there was one uh, mg15 variant that went live i would assume that maybe they added some of these more more variants into the game although they already were in the game because they were leaked so it's really all confusing here maybe it's you know to do with the last set of um or the next events dlc weapons who really knows other things we're still waiting on of course paint shops we're still waiting on um the flat guns event is live now and people have been getting it quite often at the flat guns event with a great opportunity to earn armory credits uh so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have been participating in those flat guns event they should be happening every 30 minutes in the headquarters um, as well as other stuff, the Dom XL. I saw some people talking on Twitter um, and just talking about Dom XL and getting, you know, saying where, when's it coming, when's it coming. People seem to believe at this point that maybe they canceled it and just never told us about it. I mean, I would go along with that also because it's it's just so messed up man people were looking forward to that and they, they came out talking about something that the community really wanted to hear about said they were going to test it out with the dom xl playlist and it's still not out with this update um from what i could see i logged on and looked this morning unless they added it at a later date because i know things were still rolling out but this morning it wasn't out and um we're still looking for quite a few different updates there was no gun balancing with this one which usually when you get an update with the number you know there's, there's either a hot fix which just goes straight into the game and it, you don't Need to update your actual game or there's a patch update like 1.08 1.09 1.10 like we had today where it literally takes 15 minutes to update your game or whatever depending on your internet internet i'm sure it took some people three minutes some people an hour but usually there's gun buffs and nerfs but in this one we didn't get any of that so it was kind of interesting to see and it was sort of i wouldn't say a disappointing update but it was underwhelming when you see that new 1.10 you think a lot of stuff's going to be changed the main things that were changed were to do with pistol players supply drops 
uh, and you know uh, resistance the the resistance uh, division. So if, if that affects you, that's a pretty good update. But I think they have more stuff to come, and I think this is just the start because they did say huge updates coming next week. I, I don't know if this will be a huge update. I guess it would because it's two gigabytes. But uh, the, the material we're still waiting on some other material. So if you guys could drop a like in this video, that would be awesome. Everything you guys need to know to keep you guys up to date about the game right now. I talked about today. Uh, drop a like on this thing if you guys made it to the end of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I appreciate all you guys watching my videos liking my videos subscribing all that stuff i try to keep you guys up to date on every single update coming out in this game uh subscribe for cookie and don't look at you and i'm out peace